Somebody almost got got. It is a sad, sad day for America. It is hard to find the words to describe the shock and the horror that people are feeling right now. After many of us were witnessing on live television the assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump at a campaign rally in Pennsylvania. Looking at the still images, you can see the bullet that pierced his right ear as he gets up with blood smeared on his face. Look at what happened. Over. What's up, guys? This is Bad Decisions, where we watch people make bad decisions. It's your boy, Sherm. It's your man, Jay. I'll be honest, guys. I definitely thought this was fake until I heard that two people got injured. I think one person died and that Trump's ear also got got. You know what made it seem fake to me? How painfully slow the Secret Service was. It's like the Secret Service jumped on him like five minutes after he got shot and was already on the ground. They must have been part-time with no health benefits because that Secret Service did not care at all. No, I'm with you with the Secret Service. I was really shocked at how slow they were. I mean... Non-existent? It was crazy. They allowed a man in fatigues, I guess he had, I think he had fatigues on, army fatigues, with a rifle to climb up and scale a building and bear crawl, get in position to try to do what he did. That should never happen, especially not as close as the man was on that building. That's just total collapse in so you're, you're, security. So you're talking about the school shooter? I mean, uh, <laughs> the school shooter. What is this? What are you talking about? No, I mean, you're just, I mean the uh, assassin. What, what do we call him? Assailant, assassin. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the guy who they caught that was trying to uh, <laughs> boom, boom. Uh, Trump. They didn't catch anybody. He's gone. He's uh, he's, yeah, he's he's out of he here. Was neutralized. Yeah, he's out of here. Yeah. They still caught him. They just caught him with a bullet. No, I, don't, uh, I guess. But you, you know what's funny though? Like <laughs> when they pulled up the picture of him, it's exactly who you think would do it. I don't know who you're like, talking about. Like he look. Let, let me show you what he looks like. I don't know what you're talking about. That's not who did it. <laughs> no, it's not. He did it. He didn't do it. <laughs> That's him. Exactly what you think of doing. No, nah, he got it. <laughs> no, it, it, it's, it's literally him. Oh, he got his lunch money stolen way too many times. <laughs> All jokes aside, I'm happy that uh, Donald Trump didn't get taken out, obviously. Yeah. This is not a banana republic. This is the United States of America. This kind of stuff should not be happening. This is not the 80s. I hope that we were past this, but uh, unfortunately not, because I hear a lot of people, or I see a lot of people, or I read a lot of stuff online about people saying, oh, they're dissatisfied that he wasn't hit i'm like that's disgusting no no yeah it is it is and not only that but it really shows you how vile people are vile because listen i'm an independent person i'm not democrat i'm not republican i can understand if you don't like donald trump cool you have your reasons for not liking donald trump but to wish harm on a person who has a family who's a father who's got kids who's got a wife and you wish that he'd be taken out because you don't agree with him politically is absolutely insane yeah, and you know, unfortunately, a lot of people have been brainwashed to think that he is the same as a former a dictator. Yeah, that we all are very familiar with. A uh, little that, mustache man. Yeah, they try to compare him to people like that. And so, okay, I'm trying to put myself in the shoes of some idiot that would want someone to be taken out like that. And I think maybe they're like, oh, he's such an evil person. It's like they're thinking that he's, they're thinking him being taken out is the same as being the other guy taken out. I don't really push the loss of human life. Yeah. But for someone like the other guy, okay, okay. I mean, obviously, little mustache man deserved it. I mean, we, we you know what I mean. We, it, it's it's understandable, but That's to someone different. to say like a presidential candidate should be knocked out like that, like I'd say the same thing if it was Joe Biden. If people were like, oh, I wish it would have hit, I would have been like, no, that's wrong. It would have been wrong. Unfortunately, it probably would have happened because he wouldn't have been able to get down so fast enough. But it would have been wrong, nonetheless. His reflexes aren't there. Is what I'm trying to say. Reflexes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Then. Okay. You saw that, that, hey, that was no, 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 no. You you're talking about some things that weren't there. I thought you were going to mention some other things, but you just said reflexes. Oh, he's good. <laughs> well, I'll add on to what I was previously saying before. It's crazy, though, because the school, sh I mean, uh, <laughs> the, sh the shooter is only 20 years old. It's like, who trained him? And I'm pretty sure he doesn't have any previous military experience. That's why he so missed. So it's, I mean, but he was close. He hit him in the ear. He missed. Still close. For this for, not, for a twenty not, for, a, horseshoes. for a twenty year old with no military training to get past see I'm I'm where are you going with this? I, all I'm saying is that he's trained pretty well if he got that close to taking down a presidential campaign. Did you see the video where like Trump is like he misses the bullet like barely? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I see. I, I mean, he's it. he's the dude's well trained. 
And look, I don't know who Trump's photographer is, but he must be paying them more than security because those pictures were fire. I'm sorry. You Listen, you can hate Trump. I get it that you hate Trump. You dislike Trump. But those pictures were fire. Let's be honest. And he paying them more than security. This situation could have gone one of two ways. And thankfully, it went the other way. That uh, Thankfully, it went the way that it did. This only is going to help Trump. Again, like you said, whether you like him, whether you hate him, whether you're indifferent about him, this situation here and him surviving, him reacting to how he did with his fist pump, and the shots that they got, I mean, the photo the photographs that got of him, it's over. Like, I, I personally, I think that that's going to significantly help his campaign, which was already doing yeah, pretty I, well. Yeah, I think that just landslided Trump in, if I'm being honest. It, it may have, yeah, it may. We'll see, but I think so. That's my thoughts, Because Trump is looking like an American hero right now. Oh, for sure. And, and a lot of people's eyes are like, oh, he's a, he's, he's a hero now. So I'm like... Listen, who whatever people are trying to do to stop Trump, like you it keeps getting worse. Like you lock Trump up and people want him even more. So now you shoot at Trump and now people want him as president even more. Listen, we can go down the list of what they try to do to get this man to not run for president cuz they've tried. They've literally thrown everything yeah. at this man. Yeah. Everything. Um, but I will say and again, this is just me talking about him as a person, not even as a political candidate. Just the reaction he had in a moment like that does take some balls because if you just got almost got your head taken off your shoulders <laughs> your first reaction my first reaction is probably not gonna be to fist my, put my fist and try to like rile the crowd up i'm probably gonna be trying to run off that stage yeah, as fast I'm, as i can I'm, I'm out of there so the fact that he even did that just let me know he's, he has some balls i'll be honest yeah. like i said whether or not you like him i mean personally speaking it's whatever but as far as him as a candidate but just as a man that was that was pretty tough. So yeah, I mean, it's like I said, it's a tough photo. Oh, it's tough. It was a tough photo. I like the one better where it's from the bottom, where as opposed to the one that everyone's circling. The one where uh, there's a the flag. There's, yeah, there's one from the side, and there's one where like he's surrounded by the dudes, and he's like this. Is are you talking about the, the one from like the this? side? Is taking it from the bottom though. Like the one person took oh, a picture okay. from the bottom. I don't know. I, I like I said, man, that thing is fire. Yeah, it's, it's a cool picture. So ultimately, guys, I'm going to say that I'm glad that he's good and that, it, listen, if, if Trump loses the election, cool. Let's let him lose fair and square <laughs> right. by Joe Biden if he ends up going against Joe Biden or whoever he ends up going against because it seems like Joe Biden's not running anymore. It seems like he wants to run, but people are trying to get him out. So. They're trying to. They're trying to. I don't know. Like I said, not a super political person, but ultimately, I'm glad he still has his life. And for the people that are saying vile things like come on people gotta have more common sense and not only that but it's the thing is listen you wishing bad on someone wishing that someone almost got got is making your party look even worse so i don't understand how that that's helpful at all but like i said nonetheless i'm glad he's doing all right yeah no same <laughs> obviously i wish no ill will no, i will i wish no i wish nothing like what happened or could have happened on any well on anybody actually um so glad he's still alive. Hopefully he either wins or loses fair and square, not because of, you know, <laughs> being taken out. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, decision makers, leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. We're out.